Conservative Catholic Bishop Joseph Strickland made headlines when he led a procession to protest the Los Angeles Dodgers honoring a troop of drag queens who mocked the Catholic Church dressed as nuns. Before that, the bishop criticized Pope Francis for, quote, undermining the deposit of the faith, unquote. Now comes word that Strickland, who led the Tyler, Texas Diocese for more than a decade, was the target of a Vatican-ordered apostolic visitation, a sort of Catholic Inspector General probe, which could lead to his removal. To address Strickland's troubles, I spoke to Bishop Donald Sanborn, a pre-Vatican II Catholic prelate and the rector of Reading, Pennsylvania's Most Holy Trinity Seminary. Speaking from your perspective, uh, what is your take on this controversy where Strickland finds himself entangled with a visitation? Well, I think that it has nothing to do with Los Angeles. I think it has to do with criticizing uh, the direction of the Catholic Church right now. And because if you do that, I've you know, studied this and followed it, you get into immediate trouble. All of the pre-Vatican II fulmination is brought out for anyone who in any way criticizes the direction of the post-Vatican II Catholic Church. And uh, they are ruthless about it. And I'm not surprised at all that for a, a relatively mild comment that he made, that he is under investigation now. Uh, do you have any advice for Bishop Strickland for uh, the entanglement that he's found himself in? Well, I would just say this, that it's edifying that he is saying something about the changes of Vatican II and what is going on. But on the other hand, it is not enough to complain. We have to do something about this. The church is sinking. It's like the Titanic uh, and uh, everything, all of its life signs are bad. Uh, and the prelates have to do something about it. And, you know, that would be a, a whole other interview, what to do about it. But uh, they they have to do, they, they need some action, not just words. And finally, uh, Excellency, could you describe your mission at uh, at the seminary and in general that you've devoted your life to sort of restoring the Catholic Church to its pre-Vatican II truths? Yes, the fundamental question is this. Is, are the reforms of Vatican II continuity with the past or not? Another way of putting it is, is the religion that has come out of Vatican II the Catholic faith, or is it a different religion? And that has to be asked first, and it has to be answered first before you can really organize in your mind what to do about Vatican II. Obviously, everyone would concede that there are very uh, notable changes since Vatican II. If you look at the history of the church, it, it's, it's hardly recognizable as continuity. So that's the question. So if it is not continuity, and if it is a new religion, it must be treated like Protestantism or Arianism or any of the other heresies that have afflicted the Catholic Church in the past. It's very simple. If it is Catholicism, then there is no reason to resist it. There is no reason to seek the Latin Mass or anything else. There's no gray in between those two positions. That, that is what we are saying, and we are taking the position that it is a new religion, and it must be, therefore, absolutely rejected. Your Excellency Bishop Donald Sanborn, thank you very much for joining us on One American News. Thank you for having me.